What's going on, everybody? It is January 2nd, uh, Tuesday. Getting back into the swing of things for the work week. And um, what I have here in front of us is just a nice little box score of uh, DeMar DeRozan's line last night after my full fade where DeRozan drops 52-8-5 and five with, a, with a block and a steal. Five threes, perfect from the line. 17 of 29 from the field. I don't think that you could miss worse on someone than I did last night on DeRozan. And, like, Lowry had a good game. 26, 6, and 6. Like, that's solid. DeMar just went bonkers, and I was 100% wrong. Uh, so last night ended up being a bit of a bloodbath. Shout out to OG Ananobi who didn't shoot at all in the game, including overtime. 35 minutes, not a shot attempt. I mean, obviously, you know, he did take a shot attempt because he got free. Well, I guess he didn't have to shoot if he shot free throws. But anyway, uh, plus 16. Teams are going to regret passing on him. Anyway, let's get to the fantasy stuff. Not that you guys should listen to me after the DeRozan nonsense. Five games late, um, and it's a bit of a doozy in that we have a 7 o'clock game, a 7.30 game, <coughs> and then everything is at 9, 10, and 10.30. So news is going to be interesting. If any weird stuff comes out from 6 to 7 about the late games, there's a decent chance I pull the plug on everything. Um, I don't want to... It's not the best slate for... Um, like screwing around when you have all those late games and there's nothing you can do obviously you can play a late swap but it's gonna be a weird one that Suns Hawks game could screw something up if somehow someone sits <clears throat> but let's dive in anyway like I said five games first one up is uh, Cavs and Blazers no line on this right now Isaiah Thomas expected to play um, and Dame is expected to play as well but until that information comes out officially we don't know. God, I feel like I shouldn't even have the ability to look at this stuff right now after yesterday. Not even 45 seconds after I tweeted out that uh, I fully faded Aaron Gordon and DeMar DeRozan. I think they both had 10, 10 points and like, you know, easily double digit fantasy points. It was brutal so brutal okay so definitely want to take a look at LeBron I can bump this up now oh yeah and by take a look at LeBron I mean you know it's LeBron um I don't see that as the best love matchup or JR. I don't really want. I don't think I really want anybody else here. Could have been an interesting Dwayne Wade game in a different life, but. So, Braun, 11 5 on FanDuel, 11 7 on DK. I don't. I mean. I don't I don't see any problem with him just thrashing Portland. How does he normally play against Portland? Ooh. Okay. He's had biggies and some bad ones. But yeah, I'm in for LeBron. On a slate like tonight, you kinda wanna just take the sure thing so to speak I don't want Isaiah he's 5500 and 5900 he's only gonna play like low 20s minutes he's not in play at all in my opinion um, love on FanDuel 7900 really do limit the threes which concerns me Love shoots a pretty high amount of corner threes. 
not that I don't trust him to get into the mid range, but uh, I don't think it's best. And then you know Wade is going to continue to jump off the page just because of you know how efficient he is in the past. Forty nine hundred and forty eight hundred. He's just not playing enough minutes. You know, he might play 25, but he also might play 19. That's tricky. Um, I don't really see the upside there. So I'll pass there. I don't want anything from Cleveland. Now I'll go to uh, Portland. Portland, and like I said, this line is made up, so I added at a 108.75 implied total. Cleveland would be second. Um, seven and a half point favorites at home against the Blazers. And um, I have the Blazers at 101.25, which would be eighth on the night. Oh, it is so cold in my house right now. It's so cold everywhere. I think it's like 18 degrees or something ridiculous we might actually get snow which is something that never happens okay um well i like dame if uh if we know he's playing i like him even more with the idea that uh isaiah might play for 20 minutes i don't get the sense that he could be very good defensively and then we definitely want to look at a minu this is about as good of an Aminu game as you could possibly get. And then that's probably it. So we'll say Dame is 89 on FanDuel, 85 on DK. So we want to see north of 45. I'm not going to have much information here. He's only going to have two games in this stretch. Um, but it's Dame. Uh, I think he's in for a big night if he's playing tonight. Um, I, I don't want anything with CJ. Not at all. Um, I think Nurkic is okay on FanDuel. He needs 32.5 for value on FanDuel. Um, which he's been at in his last three, and it's not as if um, Cleveland has some sort of big presence. You know, Tristan Thompson's playing less than 20 minutes a game. Although, so does Nurkic. And if the Cavs were, well, <laughs> obviously, what do I know? I faded DeMar DeRozan. But if the Cavs were smart, you'd just play Tristan Thompson every single second that use of Nurkic is on the floor. So Napier is obviously not a play if um, if Dame is back. And then we have Aminu. Had a nice game last night, I believe. Yeah, 35.9 fantasy points. Um, those are the games that I'm looking for from him. I'm going to hope he continues to have the hot hand. 50, he's uh, 5,300 on FanDuel, 4,500 on DK. So I'm in there for sure. I think that's probably it there. Yeah. So now the rest of the games all have legitimate lines. Like the Knicks and Spurs, for instance, where the Knicks have a 97.75 implied total. There is nothing less appealing than Knicks Spurs regular season basketball on a Tuesday in January. There are dudes on the Spurs. I mean, obviously, I do one of these videos basically every day. There are dudes on the Spurs. I don't know what they look like. <laughs> At all. If I played Guess This Race, I wouldn't know. I couldn't pick some of these dudes out of a two-person lineup. Okay. Did they just play? Why does that feel... Why do I feel like they just played? Because they just played. I liked Zinger. Okay. So, I like Zinger. I like Courtney Lee. I like Frankie Smokes. 
I don't like Courtney Lee as much as I thought I did. <laughs> Everything's just changing as it goes. Zinger and Smokes are probably the only two guys I want to look at. Let's find out. 9,500 on FanDuel, 8,300 on DK. Zinger needs 40-something. Uh, he's been 40-something plus last five games. Um, I like to see that he's been steady. He's really not appealing on FanDuel. I think he really needs to go off for you to have some sort of major upside. I don't dislike him on FanDuel, especially on a slate where there's only five games, but he looks really good on on DK. I'm going to make a DK plus. That's, that's what that logo means. Look, by logo, I mean the plus sign. Um, I don't want to really take too much of a look at Cantor. Frankie Smokes is 4,700 on FanDuel, 4,300 on DK. So if he can get to 25, he's been above 20 in two of his last three. Oh, man. Worst implied total on the slate. Man, I don't know. It fits. He looks good. They're going to give him all the mid-range shots he can take. But I'm okay with it. I don't expect him to pop a ton. Man, got that right on the first try. I'll take it. To the Spurs we go now. Uh, Spurs 101.75 implied total, which would be sixth on the night. Um, I mean, this team this is a team that's playing 10 guys 20 minutes a, a night. It's kind of insane. Ooh, okay. Um, not a great Aldridge game. Not a great Kawhi game. Would be a good Danny Green game if he was playing more than 23 minutes. I might like no Spurs tonight. Okay. Aldridge is 8,500 on FanDuel, 7,600 on DK. So he needs mid 40s. He had three straight in the low 40s. Basically, he had three straight at 42. And then a smaller game. I don't... He had 42 against them a couple nights ago. I think that I would probably want a little bit of him. But, I mean, very little. Just a decent price on FanDuel. Or on DK, rather. Um, I don't want any part of POW at 6,900. Even though he went pretty ham on them in 26 minutes. Um, I don't love it. Kawhi, 7,500 on FanDuel, 6,700 on DK. So he would need, you know, around 40, which would be a pretty monster game for him. I could see it, but... I don't, it's too much, it's too soon. 
And this isn't the best game. So we'll go to Phoenix now. Suns, uh, 109.75 implied total. They are the favorites by a point and a half against the Atlanta Hawks. Whoa, boy. This one's bad. Hawks and Suns might, or, you know, what, two of the three worst teams in basketball? If we include the Kings, who am I missing? Grizzlies, I guess. Um, okay, so nah, I don't totally love Booker, but at least they're bad at the three game. Might have to take a look at Marquise Chris. Only guy I definitely don't want to take a look at is TJ Warren. So, Booker, 8,000 on FanDuel, 9,100 on DK. Are you serious? Okay, you can't play him on DK. You play him on FanDuel. 9,100. For the love of God, that's ridiculous. Don't, yeah, don't. 9,100 is insane. 8,000 is insane. They're both insane. I don't want TJ Warren. I don't think that that's a good matchup for him. Booker might have a good game, but he just doesn't, he can't provide the value at that salary. Um, Len, he's only playing 20 minutes. It's not the best spot there. Okay, Marquise Chris, 5,300 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DK. Can you get to the mid to high 20s? So 24 plus in his last three. Shorter minutes in the last game out. This seems like a decent chance to get Marquise Chris some run. I might actually ro roster Marquise Chris tonight, which is different for me. Chandler is 4,500 on FanDuel, 4,400 on DK. He's played 30 plus minutes in his last two. I don't see that happening again, but if it does, I might want to take him. That's it for me though on the Suns. It's probably something I might want to re-enter or might want to entertain a little bit later. I just don't really like the matchup, so it might take a little digging. We'll go to Phoenix now, or we'll go to Atlanta now. Um, Suns first day back, guys. It's early in the morning. We've been recording these over the past couple days, like you know, much later than this. <laughs> so 108.25 implied total for the Hawks. Which is what I was trying to say from the beginning. Man, that Booker price is a bummer. I would have liked to play him. Alrighty. Schroeder looks fine. And Collins looks fine. Maybe Prince. Schroeder, 77 FanDuel, 73 DK. Can he get to 40 against a Suns team that isn't exactly going to be playing a lot of defense in the backcourt? Um, <clears throat> three straight mid-30s games. I think this is a great spot for Schroeder. Now, um, Bazemore, I don't like... Print 6,000 on FanDuel, 55 on DK. Over 30 would be helpful. The 49 and a half here, two straight just under 30. So when it goes, it goes. It's pretty boom and busty. Um, just because of this game, I think it's it's worth taking that shot. Uh, Mike Mascala is supposed to be back now officially, uh, so I've got him getting a couple minutes. <clears throat> Pulls down a little bit on Ilyasova, Collins, Plumley. 
Ilyasova, 5,700 on FanDuel, 5,100 on DK. He would need to get to 30, which he's done in four of his last five, basically. I think I can entertain that. And Collins, 5,900 on FanDuel, 4,900 on DK. That is one to pay attention to. Also needs to get to just around 30. Um, have to look at him there just because of that price. Uh, he's much better on DK. Looks like I like the Hawks side of this game a little bit more than the Suns. Should probably just bet on the Hawks. Two games left now. Uh, next one up. Sacramento Kings hosting the Charlotte Hornets. Kings 101.5 implied total. They are three and a half point underdogs at home. Um, De'Aaron Fox is questionable, which doesn't really matter outside of the fact that it probably takes minutes away from George Hill. I mean, minor minutes, but still. Okay. Not the best Willie Cauley-Stein game. I will look at Hill. I'll look at Bogdan. I'll look at Buddy Heald. Probably it. I doubt I'll have much here. Damn team is such a crapshoot. Yeah, no thank you on Willie Cauley-Stein. No thank you on Zebo. although if you want to roll the dice on FanDuel, I think that I'm okay with it. He's just got a really depressed price. George Hill, 4,700 FanDuel, 4,600 DK. Mid-20s. Yeah, no, I'm good. Bogdan. 4,800 and 4,500. Can he get to the mid-20s? I'm okay. Buddy healed mid-20s. I mean... Look, it's a crapshoot. Would it shock me if one of... healed and bogged on and somebody else, like, popped off? No, because somebody's gonna have to do it, but... Good luck picking out of that scrap heap. I'm fine. Hornets, 105 implied total. <clears throat> it's fourth on the night. Sacramento gives up like boatloads of threes, right? Yeah. This could be an interesting one for Kemba and like Marvin Williams, who's been playing almost no minutes. This might be a Frank the Tank game. I think it is. Yeah, it might be. Okay. I definitely want to look at Kemba. I want to look at... Why wouldn't Dwight have a decent game? I'll entertain Dwight. Um, seems like a tricky one for Batum. And we'll look at Frank the Tank and Marvin Williams. Kemba, 8,000 on FanDuel, 7,500 on DK. We need him to be over 40 for sure. Um, hasn't had a big game in a while. A 46-pointer wouldn't even be something you'd be stoked about. I'm okay not having any Kemba. Dwight, 8,900 on FanDuel, 7,400 on DK. I'm not going to go much further. He just needs to be rostered on DK for sure. Um, just a, not, a no-brainer. It's pretty costly on FanDuel. I don't totally recommend it, but on a five-game slate, I'm not going to say no to it. Batum, I'm fine. Jeremy Lamb, I'm fine. Okay, Kaminsky, 5,200 on FanDuel, 4,300 on DK. So mid-20s and higher, 
two straight 30 point game 35 point games the matchup looks good for him um, bring me some Frank the tank hope he keeps getting those minutes and then Marvin Williams who's getting the opposite of those minutes 3700 on FanDuel 3900 on DK um, the price isn't good enough. If he were over five in value, I'd be okay. But he played 17 minutes in the last one. Not to play some rolling the dice. Last game on the docket tonight. <sighs> Clippers Grizzlies. This is a shit slate, folks. Very bad. I wanted to do a live before lock tonight, but what the hell will we talk about? All right, Blake. I'm fine with Lou. I'm fine with DeAndre. Clippers 104.75 would be fifth. Uh, they are five point favorites at home against the Grizzlies. Everybody looks okay for the Clips. So Blake, nine thousand on FanDuel, eighty four hundred on DK. No reason to suspect Blake wouldn't be a decent play here. Lou Williams, seventy four hundred and seventy five hundred. He needs a bundle. Um, Austin Rivers should be playing. I don't know how I feel about Lou Williams here. I guess I'll, I'm okay with having a bit of him. Um, it's not the best in the world, though. DeAndre, 7,500 and 7,400. So we need him to get to 40-ish. It's been in the mid-30s every game at the end of December. Uh, Memphis, so he'll get a diet of Gasol. How has he done against Memphis in the past? <laughs> Nothing crazy. I'm going to pass on DeAndre, actually. Do I have another center? Maybe I'm not. Oh, yeah, Dwight. I don't have a lot of Dwight. Alrighty, alrighty. I don't want Rivers. Taya Dosage, 5,700 and 5,700. So he needs 30 plus. Uh, it's just too, that's, the price is too high right now. Finally, we go to the Grizzlies. 99.75 implied total, ninth on the night. Uh, no Chandler Parsons. Not that anybody cares. And I, God, Grizzlies would give anything to get out of that deal. All right, so we like Mark Gasol. That's it, maybe. Marc Gasol, 8,200 on FanDuel, 8,000 on DK. Mid-40s is what he's going to need. Three 40-point games, but there's three oldest. Otherwise, he's been in the mid-30s. Gasol against the Clippers. It's usually been okay, mid-40s. Um, I'm going to chalk that up to matchup. And I'm going to say that I'm okay with Marcus Gasol. Which makes me feel okay. If I disregarded DeAndre, I'm okay with having the other center in the game. Tyreek, 9,000 fan duel, 8,200 on DK. He needs 45 plus. He's got six straight games, 40 or higher. One of those being a 60-pointer. It's basically going to be like Tyreek and Lou Williams guarding each other, which holy shit. Um, 
be a turnstile. So yeah, I mean, I, it'd be hard for me to say that I don't like Tyreek. What's his chart like? He's got to be just, it's got to be a straight line to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Shot out of a cannon on December 21st. Dude must have had a great Christmas. Six straight games with an average of 1.5 fantasy points per minute. Gotta go for it, man. Ride that train until it, I don't know, goes off the tracks or something. Jermichael Green, I'm okay. The only other guy I guess we would look at would be like Jarrell Martin. I'm fine there. So that's it. Oh my god, this is dreadful. So there's the short list. I hit every position, so that's good. <laughs> you're always happy when you can actually fill out your roster when you're done this exercise. Let's take a look at the uh, the DK randomization. Yeah, randomization. Optimization. Oh, my God. So one piece of news for everyone that I think you'll all be happy about. Uh, the wife has a big conference in California starting Sunday so after that she's bookending that with a bit of a girls trip um, so from Sunday of this coming weekend through the following weekend I'm living that bachelor life which means there's going to be a ton of videos I'll be live before lock every single day from Sunday through the following weekend um, just because I don't have anything else to do. Uh, I might just chill and watch a game and leave the stream on again. Um, I, I'm truly just going to fill the time. So we're going to turn that out. I'm going to use that time to uh, put together the Excel book for everybody so that you have almost every feature that I have. I just haven't had the time to be able to do it, but that should afford me a good amount of time to just sit here and and churn it out um, and then if anybody has any other suggestions or things they want to see things they want me to look at things they want me to do uh, hit me up in the comments um, I'm always up for you know doing new stuff whether it's videos or walkthroughs I know that I need to put together some um, some videos on sort of everything that I look at but that's gonna be the goal for next week because uh, I'm gonna have a ton of free time on my hands anyway Let's optimize here. Bump that to five. Maybe. There we go. Let's give me 20 lineups. And kablam. Holy balls. Okay. So, first thing I see. A lot of Dwight, which is good. Schroeder, good. Collins, good. Prince, good. Frank, good. Aldridge, good. Bogdan coming up in 70% doesn't shock me. Um, he's one of those sort of guys that I tend, like my projections tend to overrate. Does make me think that I need to look at him a little bit closer if he's going to come up that much. I have him at 24. What do the two Roto QL projection systems have him at? Twenty-three-five and 22. So, yeah, I'm about a point and a half high on him compared to those guys, which generally like that's why he's gonna pop as much as he does but I will give him a closer look I should probably have him but I like that the top half of this section is all dudes that I generally liked um, I wouldn't want to have more than one king so let me just make that change now So like I would be okay with something like this or something like that. Like I like these first couple lineups. They 
having like a sprinkling of Wade and Bogdan. You know, who else is like a weird one that's popping out? I don't know, pretty much just show those guys. But I like the core of Schroeder Howard, one of Collins or Prince, Kaminsky, you know, a decent chunk of Porzingis, 30% makes me happy on DK. That came out a lot better than I expected. I didn't think that I was going to like any part of uh, that first optimization. So that makes me excited for the future. Now we'll check FanDuel. We'll do 20. Bump up the randomness. Just force it at one king. This one might be the trickier one. Okay, so fully in on Booker. I, that totally makes sense to me on FanDuel. I like it. Uh, Schroeder looks great. Um... I mentioned, you know, if you like Zebo, his price is good. If you think that he can get a couple extra minutes, it's a great spot. But Prince, LBJ, I didn't look at Kyle Anderson, but I might need to look a little bit closer. I don't like CJ tonight, so I would avoid that one. Um, Lou Williams, Marc Gasol. So I think everything looks pretty good there. So that's it. Last peek at the pivot or at the uh, the short list. If you wanted to pause it and take a look at who I'm focused on just to start the morning but that's all I got you guys know the drill like subscribe twitter patreon the whole deal um and I'll be back tonight live before lock bye bye